Hi, you guys. So you guys have been slipping and sliding into my DMs asking, how do you stay motivated? Who is the person you follow that just helps you, just keeps you going? Who do you follow to, to, to motivate you? And you guys ask me this a lot. And so I wanted to make sure to post this on video so then I can just kind of refer to you guys to this video. Um, but I've said in the past that I don't follow very many fitness influencers. In the past I did though, I was just looking for any other chick that had my hashtag body goals that would help me just want to eat a lot healthier and, and, and get leaner and feel better with the way that I look. I would watch every fitness video out there. I would watch every fitness model, you know, motivational YouTube videos. And after a while, I honestly just got very unmotivated. Nothing was, was exciting me anymore when it came to all those motivational posts and they and they could have been very very motivational but it just got very boring and at the same time i was learning about actual fitness and actual health and what it takes to live a healthy lifestyle uh not an uh, instagram healthy lifestyle the, the two are very different one's very fake and the other one's uh once again, a lifestyle, a, a real lifestyle. So the more that I got into actual fitness and health and, and having a, a healthy lifestyle, the less fitness influencers I follow. So that hasn't been my thing for a long time. I love seeing fitness people. I love seeing muscular women and just strong looking women, but it's just not something that keeps me going. So all the little tips that I'm gonna give you today is pretty much what I do. It's for me personally, you are welcome to try them. I'm not saying that this is what you have to do. This is just what I did and seemed to work for me, which means it might not work for you. Everyone is different and that's why we are so unique in our own little special ways. So the first thing that really motivated me to keep going is just looking at my family and friends who don't put the effort in to be healthy and their health and body is failing because if you don't give a shit about your body, your body won't give a shit either. And that's the truth. So I don't want to end up like my dad and, and people who in my family who are losing limbs because they're addicted to food and they have diabetes and all this stuff that goes along with food addiction. And so that, that, that was a very, very big motivational factor to help me eat healthier. And the second thing I started doing, as you guys know, is the bulk of my weight loss was because I started writing down my food and portioning out my food. I was a huge binge eater. I could eat a whole gallon of ice cream. Didn't matter, I could eat it all. So I obviously didn't know how many calories I uh, was eating because I was a binge eater, but the food journal helped me immensely just be able to portion out my food and have the correct portion size for my body and for the goals that I, I wanted. So to keep me consistent with that, because remember we need good old consistency. You don't wanna just do it for three days and think that you're gonna look like a fitness model because you will be very disappointed. So to help me stay consistent, I am a very uh, weird but visual person. I have the mentality of a child most of the time. So I told myself, if I portion out all my food, write it all down in my food journal and total up all my calories through the day, um, I will receive a heart drawn from, drawn on from a lipstick stick not this one specifically because this was from years ago i'm just using it for for visualness but if i do that every single day i will receive a heart on my mirror as a sign of accomplishing something yeah very similar to the whole oh you were good in preschool today you get a sticker and for some reason it spoke to me and i re and i remember that first day of just making sure i wrote down everything portioned everything out measured everything totaling up all my calories and at the end of the day before bed i got to write out that heart on my mirror and I, like, I felt very excited, happy, and I felt accomplished. And I did it every single day. I didn't skip a day. Whether I, oh, it doesn't mean I didn't overeat. It doesn't mean that I didn't binge, but I counted every single thing. I measured out every single thing and I wrote down every single thing. And therefore I got a heart. With me writing it down, it helped reduce my binges. Do you know how many calories are in a freaking gallon of ice cream? A lot, and when you see that amount of calories, you don't do it very much. So writing it down helped me stay accountable and the heart just was like that, I don't know, that 
that sticker that you got in preschool. And it probably made me feel like a little kid again. You're judging me but it worked. And every day when I woke up, I wanted to feel that feeling at the end of the day again. And I continued to do what I told myself to, that I said I would do so that I could get that heart. And before I knew it, my whole mirror was full of all these hearts drawn on by lipstick. And it just made me feel very happy. And I liked that feeling, so eventually it turned into a routine type thing. I didn't have to keep drawing hearts on my mirror. If you wanted to keep doing that, you can, but I didn't have to. But me writing in the journal gave me that happiness I felt when I would draw the little heart on my mirror. Somehow it signaled in my brain, draw on or write in journal, measure out food. I felt happy and it worked for me. It might not work for you. It might be like cheesy or weird, stupid, dumb in your opinion, but once again, it worked for me and you have to kind of find what works for you. So that was kind of just the very big start of what helped me stay motivated. And pretty much, you don't have to do that specifically. It might not speak to you, but you wanna just keep things exciting. If it just is the same old boring thing over and over again, I don't blame you for quitting. I would quit. So keep it exciting. I can't tell you what excites you. You have to tell you what excites you, what motivates you. Tell me right now in the comment section. And it's not for me to know what motivates you. It's really for you. It's amazing when you write out what motivates you. It just speaks to your brain a little bit more. And it makes you think a little bit. What motivates me? Comment it below. So now that it's just this whole like healthy thing, is it's a lifestyle thing, it's not really a burden. Yes, it is hard sometimes. I still deal with binging and wanting to binge and just like loving to smother myself in food and, and feel like horrible after. For some reason, I love it, but it, it, it is a struggle, but it is a lifestyle, you know, eating healthy and whatnot. It doesn't feel as, as, um, taxing and whatever word I'm trying to say as it did when, when I first started. So what really motivates me now is health. I wanna feel good, I like feeling good, and vanity reasons. I like to look a certain way, I like my arms to look a certain way, so that motivates me enough to just keep going. Definitely didn't start like that, but now that I'm at this point, that's where I am with uh, motivation or what motivates me. Something else that I just thought of that I had to do, which was very hard, and I know a lot of people the clients that I talk to don't do this, but I really, really challenge you to at least try because this is, a, it's hard because it's a mental thing, but something that I remember doing when I was trying to lose weight and I was very frustrated with the way that I was looking and the results that I wasn't getting, um, because I wasn't getting results as fast as I wanted. I know you guys want results very, very fast. Everybody just wants it like that, right? We all want the fast results. Um, and you're not gonna get fast results if you want it to be a lifestyle. So once I got through all of that whole thing of uh, crash dieting and whatnot, I said, Michelle, I notice you binge and you freak out when you start comparing yourself to everyone else and you start thinking of, of this long road that's going, that, that you're gonna be on and um, the end results and how you want to look and blah, 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 all this. And it did, I would always, I don't know if it's just an anxiety thing, but whenever I would start thinking about that, it would just ruin me. So I really had to challenge my brain to stop thinking of, you know, the end result or comparing myself to other people and just be healthy. If you just be healthy, keep doing what you're doing, the body will come and it was the weirdest thing it literally the body literally just came once i threw that sh shit off my shoulder of worrying about every single thing when it came to what i'm gonna look like or what i need to look like my fitness journey was very long but it didn't feel that way once i stopped thinking like that it's so hard to explain but i have talked to other people who did the same thing and they felt like it just felt effortless after that so maybe just think about that it did take me a while a lot of mental conditioning in here but if you can get to that point it it'll take a lot of stress off of you remember you start making small healthy choices you start portioning out your food you're working out you're pushing yourself then like you never did before you stop the crash diets and the quick fixes and you just get healthy your body will change just focus 
Uh, on the health perspective, the body will come, you guys. If you're not doing the things that you used to do and you are slowly changing, your body is slowly gonna change too. I really hope you guys remember that and you find your motivation. This was a very short video. I always read in the comment section that you guys actually like longer videos. So I'm sorry for that, but you guys kept DMing me this question. So I wanted to make sure that I put it on here for you guys. Remember, you don't have to be a size two. I usually say you don't need abs to be healthy. You can't see my abs right now, but you can see this wonderful sports bra that is on my storefront. But health is very important and I want all my subscribers, watchers, even the people that hate me to strive to be the healthiest individual that they can be. Tell me what motivates you in the comment section and I will see you guys next time. Hey you guys, you all have been drawing some really cool drawings of me and I thought I would start putting them at the end of some of my videos because I think they're so cute. So thanks for drawing and if you want your artwork featured at the end of the video, DM them to me on Instagram. And anyone's drawings that I featured on this video where I couldn't find your name, just send them over again and I'll put them in another video. Thank you so much you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.